Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're tackling a fascinating question about memory management in Java. Our viewer is curious about a specific example of a memory leak caused by autoboxing. They shared a code snippet that demonstrates how unnecessary objects can lead to this issue, and they're seeking clarity on how these objects can cause a memory leak even when there are no strong references left. Let's dive into the details and unravel this mystery together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you've worked through that resolution. Let's continue on. Let's start by understanding the code example provided. This code demonstrates a method that adds numbers incrementally using autobox. In this method, every time we add a long value, a new long object is created due to autoboxing. This happens because Java automatically converts the primitive long to a long object. Now you might wonder how this leads to a memory leak. The key point is that even though the references to these long objects are lost after the loop, they are still being created in large numbers. In Java, if too many objects are created and not garbage collected quickly enough, it can lead to increased memory usage, which is often referred to as a memory leak. To summarize, while the references to the long objects are lost, the continuous creation of these objects during the loop can lead to memory issues over time. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In this discussion about memory leaks and autoboxing, the user points out a common mistake. They use the long wrapper class instead of the primitive long for summation, which leads to unnecessary object creation during each iteration. However, it's clarified that this situation doesn't actually cause a memory leak, but rather leads to redundant memory usage and garbage collection. The memory usage remains stable across garbage collection cycles. For those interested in simulating a real memory leak, a reference is provided. Additionally, the code's result from adder.add incremental is ignored which may allow for JVM optimizations. Lastly, a visual representation shows that memory usage is quite stable from one garbage collection cycle to the next. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In this example, the user mistakenly uses the long wrapper class instead of the primitive long for summation. This leads to unnecessary object creation due to auto-boxing, resulting in 1,000 extra objects being created. However, the tutorial's claim of a memory leak is incorrect. While the approach is inefficient, it does not actually cause a memory leak. And that's it, guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for and you found the answer. Guys, please hit subscribe if it helped and I'd really appreciate it. 
I'll see you next time on another one of these technical videos. Have a good one.